Can you hear that? Yeah, me either, but apparently the Earth is humming right this very moment. Hey listeners, Julia here for D News. In the 1970s, an inexplicable hum plagued thousands of people in the city of Bristol, England. While some people brushed it off as nonsense, others claimed it caused headaches and even nosebleeds. Eventually, the noise was banned on local factories, but not everyone was satisfied with this explanation. In the spring of 1991, a similar low-frequency buzz annoyed residents of Taos, New Mexico, attracting lots of media attention, but it's never been fully explained. Other cities around the world have heard the hum. It's estimated that only 2% of the population can hear it. Some hear a constant hum, others hear noise like an idling diesel truck somewhere in the distance. Some suggest a government conspiracy a la the episode Drive of the X-Files where extremely low frequency sounds were being emitted from a US Navy antenna. Others think it's some sea creature similar to noises heard by residents living in houseboats that were traced back to large schools of fish. While most officials are quick to point a finger at industrial sources like factories, it doesn't explain away the hum all the time, especially when it's a worldwide hum. Seismologists, scientists who study the mechanical properties of the Earth noticed some strange readings in the 90s. Unexplained low-frequency readings showed up on seismographs. Too low for human ears in the range of 0.01 to 10 hertz, early explanations of the noise pointed at variations in atmospheric air pressure. One study published in the journal Nature found that the Earth undergoes constant oscillation. The daily energy of this oscillation is about the same as a magnitude 6 earthquake, yet it happens on days when there are no earthquakes to blame. So what is going on? Now science is one step closer to finding an answer. In a recent study published in the journal Geophysical Research Letters, one possible source of the noise ocean waves. The researchers used computer modeling to examine wind and waves. They found that it's the movement of giant, slow-moving waves that cause the Earth to constantly vibrate. These giant waves put enormous pressure on the seafloor, which makes seismic waves. These waves could create a vibration with a frequency of 13 to 300 seconds, or as long as it takes for it to reach the ocean floor. The hum is far too low for human ears, but one of the leading scientists of the study told the Huffington Post, if you played it at 10,000 times the speed, you could hear a white noise like an old TV set between channels. So maybe this is the explanation for those weird sounds I talked about earlier. Or maybe the world will never know. Speaking of hearing things, ever wondered if you can hear sound in space? Check out this great video where Trace finds the answer. It's still fantastically thin out there. With such low density, sound's energy waves can't bounce from one atom to another. No atoms, no waves, and no sound. Can you hear the Earth's hum? Or have any questions about unexplained weirdness? Let us know down in the comments below. Please like this video, subscribe to our channel, and come find us on other places on the internet. We are on Facebook and we're on Twitter at DNews. Thanks for watching. Thank you.